Close your eyes and focus on your breath. When you breathe in, notice where you feel it. When you breathe out, notice when you feel it. And notice whether it's comfortable or not. If it's not comfortable, you can change it. To get a rhythm that's just right, just long enough or short enough, deep or shallow, heavy or light, you are the one who chooses what you like. Because you're trying to get the mind to settle down, have a sense of a good foundation right here in the present moment. And the problem with the mind is it, it doesn't seem to stay balanced easily in the present moment. It usually it tips off to the past, tips off to the future. It doesn't stay right here. And as a result, you're not watching what you're doing right here. You're thinking about what someone else did in the past, or what you did in the past, or what you'd like to do in the future, or what you're expecting in the future, but what you're actually doing right now, which is actually shaping your life. You're not paying careful attention. So you want to get the mind really solidly settled right here so you can see. When you think of something, or you say something, or you do something, you know what you're doing, particularly when you say. There are basically two kinds of mouth in the world that you have to watch out for. One is your own mouth, and the other is the mouth of other people. Your mouth, you have to be very careful to make sure that what you say is said with intention to be truthful and to be beneficial. And yet, at the same time, you have to look at the right time and right place, because sometimes you'll have to say things that are pleasing, and other times you just have to say things that are not pleasing to the other person. So if especially if it's not pleasing, you have to find the right time to say it so that they're willing to listen to what you have to say. And even with pleasing things, sometimes if you praise somebody in front of somebody else, the other person is going to get generous. So you have to be very careful about when you say pleasing things as well. So you have to be very careful about what you say. That's your mouth. And there are other people's mouths. You can't let your mood depend on what other people speak when, when they speak with ill intention or good intention. You have to be willing to listen to their words and take them. If there are any lessons to learn from them, okay, then you can learn them. But sometimes if someone criticizes you and you get upset because they seem to mean you ill, okay, you've missed an opportunity to see okay, actually, actually their criticism. Was it worthwhile or not? So you have to get the mind really solidly settled and really well balanced right here. And at the same time as you're working with the breath and making it comfortable, you're creating a sense of well-being right here. You're not adding unnecessary burdens onto yourself. Because all too often if we breathe in an uncomfortable way, the body doesn't feel all right and then the mind doesn't feel right. Then someone else comes up and says something to you, and you just can't stand it because you're already suffering. The problem is that the suffering that you've placed on top of yourself already. It's like the person carrying a huge load, and then this leaf falls off a tree, and then it gets, suddenly gets too heavy, and the person falls down and blames the leaf. Well, it's actually, it was the big load. So you want to make sure that you're not carrying a big load around right now. As you look after yourself in the present moment, then when someone says something to you that may be critical, you can think about, okay, is this really worth taking to heart or not? But the important thing is you can't let your moods depend on the other person's words. There's a story that a monk I know in Thailand told me he was staying with a John Cha. One morning he was on his alms run. Another monk came up to him and started gossiping about some of the other monks in the monastery and put the first monk in a bad mood. So he wandered away to get away from that other monk. And so he came back to the monastery in a bad mood and happened to run into a John Cha who he'd never had a chance to talk to. And a John Cha saw him and said to him in English, Good morning. And that put his mood in the other direction entirely. He was practically floating around. So he decided that night he was going to go and massage a John Cha's feet. And so a John Cha had the other monks go chanting, and he sat there massaging a John Cha's feet and listening to the monks chanting in the background and massaging a John Cha's feet. He said, This is as close to heaven you get on earth. All of a sudden, John Cha took his other foot and kicked him in the chest. And he said, "Look, don't let your words depend on other people's. And excuse me, don't let your heart depend on other people's words. In other words, don't let your mood go up and down because other people are saying good or bad things. That's the nature of the world. People are going to say good things. They're going to say bad things. And you have to put your mind in the middle. So when they say something good, you can figure out: okay, Are they saying this because they really mean me well, or are they trying to lure me into something that may be dangerous? And the other way around: If someone says something critical. Are they saying that simply just to let off steam, or you actually have you been doing something wrong? So don't let your mood get in the way. And this is why we work with the breath, to make sure our mood is on an even keel. That way we can listen to the words and get the most benefit out of them. So looking at looking out after all the dangers that come from mouths in this world, your own mouth and other people's mouths. This is one of the reasons why we meditate, to put ourselves in a good place where we're safe from both kinds of dangers. <laughs>